Pray, shall we? Pray, shall we? our King, the Munificent One, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the El Mocenary One, who has gratuitously given to us his divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He could have kept it to himself, but he didn't. He gave it to me, he gave it to you, he gave it to you, 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 and each and every one of us. And I thank Yahweh Ben Yahweh for it. Without Yahweh Ben Yahweh, we wouldn't have the knowledge of how to overcome the world. We wouldn't have the tools necessary to overcome it. Without Yahweh being Yahweh, we wouldn't even know that we had to overcome it. We wouldn't know that there was a world to overcome. Thank you, Yahweh being Yahweh, for opening up my eyes to be able to see so that I can begin to walk the roads of self-sufficiency and independence. Torah Yahweh for giving me the wisdom Toda Yahweh for giving me the knowledge. Toda Yahweh bin Yahweh for giving me the understanding. Toda Yahweh bin Yahweh for choosing me. Because you didn't have to choose me. I saw what you did with the other guys that you didn't choose. <laughs> I remember we was in the church. I was in there playing for just a just a, uh, just a cracker with a little you know, DC, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. But anyway, I remember the church playing for him. And as I was playing for him, I remember this brother and I, who played music as well, trumpet player. We were talking about you and I in the book in the church. So while they was having service up front, we were having service in the back. And we were talking about the you and not a nigga, but I had no idea Yahweh but Yahweh was piquing my interest. And then, lo and behold, one day I went to church with my imam. And I came, when after the church, I remember I came back and I cried. I went in my room. And I cried. And I said, God, I'm looking for you. I said, I have no way how by which to prove it. But this lady that just sat there and preached to me just lied. And I said, my, my spirit didn't feel what she was saying. And I'm like, God, I, I, I need you. I'm trying to find you. I, 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 I want a relationship with you. And I was in my room and I cried and I cried and I cried, oh Yahweh. I'm like, oh God, please let me see you. I'm trying, I'm looking for you, I'm looking here, I'm looking down, I'm, I'm looking. And all of a sudden, one day, there was a knock at the door of my mind. Someone said, have you heard about Yahweh? I said, yeah, I, know, I heard of Yahweh. Yahweh the black God. Brother said, yeah, y'all wait the black dog, yeah. I said, yeah, you see, I got my Israel t-shirt too. He said, oh yeah, you got your Israel t-shirt, yeah, y'all wait the black dog. And uh, he was, we were over there talking, I don't know what we were talking about. It was me, him, and some other guys. And then he said one day, uh, uh, I mean, at one point in the conversation, well, you know what, I'm going to go do some studying in the library. He said, would y'all like to come and do some study? I said, sure. Yeah, let's go do some study, man. Yeah, that's, that's what we're supposed to do. study. But I'm saying to myself, what? I know I ain't never study nothing. You know, I ain't never read nothing. So I'm like, yeah, let's go do some study. The other guy said, no, I got to do some practicing for uh, his exam that was coming up. So we went and began our studies. And that's when Yahweh, Yahweh began knocking at the door. He said, look in this encyclopedia. And I looked at Yahweh. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, 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 
I said, uh, I thought that was a made up name. You mean to tell me that that's a real name? And, and he, he said, yeah, Yahweh is a real name. He said, read the information. I'm looking at the Catholic, and I'm like, this is a Catholic encyclopedia. <laughs> he said, Yahweh, the only name of God. And just as I said, the only name of God, it was substituted with the words Lord and God. Whenever you see the words Lord and God, the original Hebrew was Yahweh. What? The Hebrew was Yahweh? <laughs> I'm like, let me read this a little bit more. I'm like, I got another dictionary. I'm reading. I'm surprised Yahweh is in there too. And I'm like, oh, Yahweh, I've never seen this before. And so I got another book. I, mean, I got to get this book and I got to get it. And I, I spent the whole day in the library. Now, man, you, I was a uh, not was a musician. I was, at this time, I was a musician. And I just loved music. I had all kind of music classes going on in the college. I dropped every last one of them immediately. <laughs> Bam! I was in the library from the time it opened to the time it closed. I said, I have to research this thing, Yahweh. I'm like, oh my God. I, 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 I'm like, I can't believe I just found this. And so I'm doing all of this research and all of this research. And so I call, I, I call my brother up. Because he was at the temple. And I said, Seth. He said, yeah, man. I said, Yahweh is God. He said, I know I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> I said, he's really God. <laughs> and I said, I got to meet that man that got that name on that building. I said, I got to meet him. What do what, what y'all have in class again? She said, Wednesday, we have in class in uh, Sunday. Now, uh, whatever day was, I, I got to come the very next day. I, I got to be there. So in class. For y'all don't know, that's how y'all would be yeah, okay. Yes, that was his yes, theme song that came yes, out. Sir. <laughs> and then he began to teach. And I said to myself, Oh my God, I found you. I said, Oh God, I said, I found you. You that you, you, you who I've been looking for. <laughs> I said, hey, you are who I've been looking for. And from that day to this day, I have been with Yahweh and Yahweh. Never even decided to even remotely think about flinching. For what? For what this world has to offer? No. Praise Yahweh. But anyway, that's just my little testimony. That's right. It's very important that you get this book. You want to know how to overcome the world? You want to know how to get over all of the evils that you see going on in this world? You need something that's going to give you the moral fortitude to be able to stand up against all of the evils 
that are going on in this world today. You need something that's going to give you the strength to be able to stand up in this evil world. This is the book. Brother Mom will tell you about it a little later on in the program. I just like to read to you from page 65 about Yahweh being Yahweh and what he wrote. He says, the title of this chapter is called, Give Ear, Yahweh is Speaking. Hear. And it says, the children of Yahweh are publishing the name of Yahweh via TV, radio, World Wide Web, the internet, books, newsletters, catalogs, etc. Therefore, the nations of the earth are commanded to turn from their evil ways and lend an ear to the words, doctrine, and speech of Yahweh, to ponder the principles of Yahweh, to think over the precepts of Yahweh, to dwell on the tenets of Yahweh, to meditate on the teachings of Yahweh, to reflect upon the thesis of Yahweh, to focus on the articles of Yahweh, to consider the body of teachings of Yahweh, to take to heart the gospel of Yahweh, to scrutinize the word of Yahweh. And finally, the nations of the earth are commanded to study the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of Yahweh, and never fail to pay attention to the words, doctrine, and speech of Yahweh. Now this, that sounds a little familiar, because I'm like, Lord Yahweh, that's what you told us to do. I got to because I got to go to my uh, Bible app. Let's look at Matthew. For those that have Bibles and Bible apps, <laughs> Matthew 28, 2019 through 20. Let us read. Go ye. All right, stop right there. Read it again. Go ye. Who is this ye? Who? Go you. Go LaVon. Go Donnie. Go Nancy. Go you. Your name is there. Jeremiah. Go you. Don't you think it's up to Lou to do the job? No, you go. Present tense. You go. Go you. Now, 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 now. Let's see. Now, now, let's see what we're supposed to do. So let's, let's read again. Let us read. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. So you mean to hold up. Our job, our duty, our responsibility is to teach all nations. The children of Yahweh's duty and responsibility, these are our calling orders. Go and teach all nations. Not let them come teach you, but you go and teach. You have to be Yahweh's representative. Yeah. All right, now, let's say, go ye and teach all nations, continue. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. All right, hold up. Baptizing them. Mm. Now that's a whole that that's a whole another subject in itself. But I remember when 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 they tried to baptize me when I was young. <laughs> they got this pool of water, what? and the priest said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, Lord. "Father, we gonna baptize you today. We gonna bring you to the Lord." I said, yeah! I think I was like 12 or 13. I said, bring me! I said, come on, son. 
I came on down. And he got me. I was in my little white. I don't know what my what was that? A, a, a white sheet. I don't know. But I had it. And he dipped me down in the water and pulled me up. Said, son, you saved. <laughs> I think you're going to have to dip me again. I'm not feeling what I just saw him, you know, I saw him jumping over there. I'm not feeling that. Just, just, just for peace sake. Just won't. Just dip me one more time. That ain't it. That's the only conclusion that I came up with. That wasn't it. I know I pretended. Oh, 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 that's the price of holy, holy, hello, full of hell. That's right. That wasn't, I was not baptized in anything. The only time I realized the true baptism was when Yahweh Ben Yahweh came and taught me what baptism was. And it made sense. I'm like, oh Yahweh. This I, 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 I really had no idea that I was going in this direction. But I had to be the word baptized is is so big. Because you got to be at eyes in the ism. <laughs> to be at means and it requires you to be sagacious to be keen clever learning sharp brilliant astute solid and I was like y'all have to be all of that wow you can't be a dummy and say I follow Yahweh. <laughs> no, Yahweh and dummy is not sending them for one another. No, you, you, you can't find that. No. You have to be smart. Yahweh requires you to be smart. So we have to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son. We have to make them out in the fact that JC is not his name. <laughs> That's not his name. And of the Holy Ghost. We gotta make them out in the Holy Ghost. You've seen Resh out of Lamed. We gotta do the here. Not just me, don't you think? Oh, the brother bothers up there, he's doing his job, yeah, no, no, no. That's your job too. That's your job, each and every one of you. I'm just up here today. Where will you be at tomorrow? Yeah. Hopefully you'll be up here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, verse 20. Let's look at it. Let us read. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. See, praise Yahweh. So, it's our duty to teach. I thank Yahweh been Yahweh for raising me up so that I can learn what to teach, how to teach, when to teach, where to teach. <laughs> Almighty Yahweh says in a book, coming coming back to the uh, page 65, Almighty Yahweh says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. When you give ear to the words, doctrines, and speech of Yahweh, He will communicate to you mentally and orally. I said, wow! Mm. Yahweh will communicate to you mentally and orally. Can't you hear Yahweh speaking to you now? These are not my words. <laughs> 
understand that a little, you know, until when y'all would be y'all understand it. The Lord Yahweh is speaking to you through me. The Lord Yahweh speaks to me through you. I have to recognize the Yahweh in you that's speaking. You have to recognize the Yahweh in me that's speaking, that's giving you the message. It's not my message. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh being Yahweh continues to say, He said, You will learn to keep Yahweh, excuse me, you will learn that Yahweh keeps all of his promises. Blessed be Yahweh that has given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promises. 1 Kings 8.56 Rulers of the world often command you to go against the will of Yahweh. Again, let me read that again. Rulers of the world often command you to go against the will of Yahweh. For example, the king of, the king of Egypt commanded the midwives to the Hebrew women to kill all the Hebrew men, children, at birth. But the midwives feared Yahweh and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men, children, alive. You know that even happened during the time of Rome when, when Yahshua was born? Again, the men children were being killed. There's something about that man child. Now look at it today. Who's being killed? The men. Who's in prisons? The men. You're trying it again. Will you be successful? Were you successful in Egypt? No. Were you successful during the time of Rome? No. Will you be successful today? No. <laughs> Our king has already come with the message. And he gave that message to who? You. you, you, you. He gave it to us. He gave it to us. He gave us what was needed for salvation. Now, hear the words of Yahweh. To hear requires you to have an ear. Not all people that have ears can hear. Yahweh. Well, in case you have deaf people, they have ears. They can hear. I mean, can't hear. Some people got eyes. Can't see. Some people got physical eyes and still can't see. Some people have no eyes and can see better than the ones that got the physical eyes. Point in case, I remember um, uh, just living on YouTube about this black guy who used sonar mm -hmm. to get around. He's just as bad as black can be. He plays basketball, he rides a bike, and all he does is And he hears with a clip. He you knows when he's walking, he says, oh, that's a garbage can. And he's there. Oh, that, oh, that, that's a piano. He's not touching it. He, he hears the sound. So, the word here comes from the Hebrew word Shema, code number 8085, and it means, excuse me, the word ear, or hear, excuse me. It means to hear intelligently. <laughs> Just check it out for yourself. To hear intelligently. So what does that, that implies also that that there is an unintelligent way to hear as well too. If there's an intelligent way to hear, there's an unintelligent way to hear as well. 
often with implications of attention, obedience, etc. Intelligent means to hear intelligently. I want, you, I want you to understand what intelligent means. Perceptive, percipient, insightful, gifted, well-endowed, talented, intellectual, intelligential, brainy, educated, learning, instructed, well-schooled, erudite, knowledgeable, versed, well-read. <laughs> You know this black people don't like to read? Do you notice that you even have to work on breaking that cycle? I have to work on it. I know you have to work on it. Because that wasn't something that we were taught to be well read. So when you well when 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 you well read as opposed to looking at TV. There's something that goes on in your head by looking at the words of that book and reading. Intelligent means aware, knowing, astute, shrewd, savvy, keen, long-headed, hard-headed, subtle, ace, first-rate, top-notch, on the ball. Ingenious, apt, clever. Adroit, deft, smart, foxy, alert, wide awake. See, when you hear intelligently, there's an awakening that went on with you. You're not just hearing intelligently because you're hearing intelligently. There's something that's going on in you that that is awakened. That's not in that other individual. There's something in you that's awakened. There's a spiritual awareness that takes place within you. It means sharp-witted, sharp as a tech, agile, quick, quick-witted, ready, sagacious, sage, wise, sapient, sapiential, rational, logical, reasonable, commonsensical, Having a good head on one's shoulders. Judicious, prudent, sensible, able, capable, competent. This is all about hearing intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just sharing with you. Wow. To be intelligent requires you to be rational. See, Yahweh bin Yahweh submits to logic. Yahweh bin Yahweh is logic. Yahweh bin Yahweh presents to you logic. People don't understand logic. Exactly. Son of man has hair like the pure wool. Black people have hair. Only people on earth that have hair like the pure wool. Therefore, the son of man must be black. And people tell you, it don't mean that. <laughs> what do you mean it don't mean that? You've never seen that scripture in your life. How you gonna tell me it don't mean that? All right, well, he had feet like fine brass. If his feet were brown like brass, that means the rest of his body was brown like brass. Therefore, let's conclude, God has to be black. It is not, it is not that we trust in blackness, but it's just simply the fact that God looks like you. I'm happy to know God looks like me. I'm happy to know God doesn't look like other nations. Don't you know other nations make gods of their own? We learned that. And don't you know the other nations God look like them? Your God looks like you. They are imitating you. And you'll tell our people that same thing. 
He said, no, it don't mean that I don't say, I don't know. Because we're not rational minded. We're not rational. When you're rational, you can't argue with rationality. You can't argue with it. Let's look at Matthew chapter 11, 15. It speaks about this ability to hear. Everyone doesn't have this ability. Just understand that you have a gift. <clears throat> Matthew eleven fifteen. Let us read. He that had ears to hear, let him hear. <laughs> you would think that that's everybody's. You got ears? No, 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 no. He that had ears. He that is intelligent, he that is wise and sapient, he that is conscious, see that's one of the synonyms of rational, I mean, uh, uh, here, that the, the ones that are conscious, lucid, sane. So, again, just because a man is deaf, doesn't mean he can't hear. And just because he has ears doesn't mean he's hearing. You know how many people you gave the word to? I know we went across the United States of America. Some of y'all may remember that too. We came right at your door. I like to testify to you that Yahweh is a Mama, them Yahweh's here again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we came on the night. I went across the world. I, I, I know I did it. Uh, we just want to let you know, you know, Son of Man is appearing at the Fox Theater tonight at uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, you're invited to come see Yahweh be Yahweh for yourself. Uh, no charge. At the Fox Theater? Yeah. No charge. <laughs> Show up. Some showed up, some some didn't. Praise Yahweh. But again, I'm a witness that it was done. I'm a witness. We went from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. I'm a witness. We went to Dallas, Texas. We went to Houston, Texas. We went to California. We went to Orlando. We went to New York. Now you know it takes money to go to all these places. But we went. And we knocked. There was some that opened the door and supped with us and came to see the Son of Man. And from that point raised from the dead into the living. But there was some that heard the word and still refused it. How could you be rational? So now, it says that Yahweh has, instruct, it has instituted civil government for the good of all people during the 6,000 years of evil rule by Satan. Yahweh instituted civil government As you are witnesses today, civil government is totally corrupt under the rule of Satan. Now what is civil government? Civil government, civil, just the word civil means adequate in courtesy and politeness. Polite means marked by consideration of others, correct manners or tact, refined, elegant, polite. Courteous, manly, well-mannered, respectful, deferential, deferent, decorous, proper, formal, ceremonious, tactful, diplomatic, politic, cordial, genial, affable, good humor, pleasant. Isn't it nice to meet a person like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Yahweh. That's why I'm so glad Yahweh and Yahweh came to us, because I was able to meet a person like that. Mm -hmm. I was able to meet the person like that. That was him. 
And then I was able to meet his brothers and sisters, his disciples that had taken on his characteristics of being just like that. And the same thing happens today. When you come into his pre the presence of his sons and his daughters, you get the same feeling. You get the same interaction. And, 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 and it's so warm. Good humor, pl uh, polite, uh, pleasant, sociable, pleasing, winning, charming, ingratiating, com com well, complacent. Agreeable, obliging, attentive, well behaved, well bred, refined, refined, civilized, genteel, gentle, ladylike, gracious, kind, gentlemanly, gentlemanlike, courtly, gallant. Chivalrous. Nice. I mean, Chip, this is polite. <laughs> being polite. No, being civil. That being civil. Civil too. I remember at one time, men had this thing called chivalry. Chivalry. Open the door for a lady. I'm high class. <laughs> Everything that was associated with first rate, we did. As gentlemen, now we get the lady and we want to beat her up. <laughs> beat her up, beat the mama up, beat the daddy up. We want to kill everybody, we want to kill the children. It means urbane, suave, debonair, yeah. sophisticated, <laughs> delicate. You have to be debonair. Dang. Yahweh then Yahweh came as the debonair one. And he taught us to be debonair. We must be debonair. So Yahweh then Yahweh says, a civil, a civil government is supposed to produce civilized, gracious, respectful, agreeable citizens, but fails to do so. If you're in a civil government, these are the qualities that you are supposed to have. If your government is not producing, then something is wrong with the government. <laughs> it says, yet Yahweh instructs his people to be in submission to the powers of government. Ecclesiastes 5.2 However, the governments of men are not granted the right to compel men to do things which are contrary to the laws of Yahweh. For example, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king, Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Now, let's look at that. This is Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Let's look at that. Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Let us read. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Verse 17. If it be so, our God, Yahweh, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O King. Verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O King, that he will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. See, understand that Nebuchadnezzar is the one that set up these images. What is the image? The word image comes from the Hebrew word, first of all, code number 6755. The Hebrew word Teslim. Tazadi Lamet Mimsofi. 
which comes from the Hebrew word 6754, Teslin, which figuratively means an illusion. Mm. 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 <laughs> An illusion. <laughs> what is an illusion? An illusion is an erroneous perception of reality. Our people go to church and we serve such erroneous things. Things that are errors. They give us the illusion. They'll paint, they'll, they'll put this in front of us. I remember y'all would be y'all used to have one in the <laughs> He pull it out. This is the illusion. They won't tell you, they won't say, well, your God is white. <laughs> they'll have the illusion right there in front of you. And what will your brain draw a conclusion? God must be white. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the conclusion that our people have drawn just from the illusion. Satan is a master of illusions. The master, the master of technology. <laughs> He'll tell you that the new year begins in the middle of winter. <laughs> the only people that believe that the new year begins in the winter are some dumb people that don't study for themselves to find out why the new year has to be understood. The only people that actually know when the true new year is are the followers of Yahweh and Yahweh. Absolutely. Now I'm going to give you a test. What's the first month of the year called? Abib. See, if I would have said this out there in the world, I'd say, what's the first month of the year? January. <laughs> That's not what the Bible says. No, you went for the illusion. See, Yahweh ben Yahweh is the spirit of truth, and he guides us into all truth. Not just some truth or part truth, but all truth. Here it is. We recognize the days and months of the year. There's January, February, March, April, May. We, we go all the way through them. Without realizing that we call them the name of God. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Those are the names of, of pagan deities. Mm -hmm. January came from Janus. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like July, August. From what? Well, Julius Caesar. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was Julius Caesar. Augustus. Caesar. Augustus. 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 <laughs> See, the, the God Janice, he, he had a front head and a back head. He was able to see in the past and look into the future. That's why they call that January. The days of the week. Yeah. Moon day. Moon day. The moon day. Twig day. Twig day. Wednesday. Wooden's day. Thursday. Thor's day. Freeze day. The Saturday. Matter of fact, Saturn was such an important God, they even named the planet after him. That's right. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And Sunday wasn't in honor of the Son of God. It was in honor of the sun in the sky. Because right. they didn't understand this mysterious entity that was flying through the heavens. So they gave it a day of worship. They called it Sunday. Illusionist. <laughs> what we have to do again, brothers and sisters, we have to wake up from the illusion. They have us believing in illusions that one can choose your gender. Mm. 
They tell you I was born a man, but I'm really a woman. And they get upset when they go to the doctor and, and, and want to be accepted as that. Yeah. <laughs> but they want you and want you to accept it too. Yep. They sure do. You accept that I'm a, I'm a woman. <laughs> and got his big rusty behind going into the ladies' room. <laughs> well, excuse me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you pulling on something, nigga. You think, God damn, But you a woman. <laughs> and I'm supposed to believe. I don't care how many hormone shots you take. I don't care what kind of gender reassignment you get. You'll never get pregnant. No. It's not in your genes and chromosomes. You're a man. Except the fact that's the reality. What's real money, brothers and sisters? Gold. Gold and silver. See, we know that. See, the followers of Yahweh, we know that. The reality is, gold and silver is the real money. Not the paper that they put in front of us. That's not real money. Whew. Thank you, Yahweh, for, 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 for your truth. Illusion, just real quick, and I'm, I'm running out of time. The condition, illusion, the condition of being deceived by a false perception or belief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. False perception or belief. Deceive. Trick. Consciously trick you into believing in that which is false. Into believing that which is not true. We went for the illusion. TDJ say I went for the illusion. He was a little more than this. I want to be a preacher. Why? Preachers make money. You see the golden calf. You see the golden image. And you want to buy down the worship. It. I want to be like Creflo Dollar. I need a, 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 a six seven million dollar jet. So I can change his name to Creflo Dollar. Not even his name. His name is Michael Smith. <laughs> so you know he so, loved the money. So can you imagine that? But well, anyway, I thank Yahweh Ben Yahweh for coming to us as the very spirit of truth to open up our eyes and to shine the light, his marvelous light. That's why his light could just be a normal light. He had to come with a marvelous light and shine it into our darkened mind to cause us to begin to wake up and see the illusions, to begin to see the traps that have been set before us to begin to bow down, bow, bow down and worship them. Torah Yahweh bin Yahweh for giving us your life. Torah Yahweh bin Yahweh. Well, brothers and sisters, without further ado, I introduce to you the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, our governor, our mayor, our president, the president of the nation of Yahweh, the illustrious, the grand, the magnificent, Yahweh bin Yahweh. Praise Yahweh.
为爱。